during what was the break for these guys, you were able to go back down to Utica, but you come up here right away again, going back into the lineup. What does that mean to you to, you know, have made an impact like that? Of course, I'm happy. I, I can play my own game here and uh, same way as uh, in the NHL than I play in the AHL. I think uh, that's that's been a positive thing for me the whole season. And just to like have the coaches, you know, say like, okay, yes, you were playing there when we were on the break, but we want you back here. What does that mean to you from what you've shown so far? This means a lot, of course. Like I can, like I always said, I can play the same way in here than I play in the AHL. And uh, it's it made me a lot for me. And uh, I just show show me how work I have, like I, how hard I have worked. Uh, yeah. And yeah. What, what do you sort of like about that combination working with Colin? Uh, I think it's been good. Like uh, last game against uh, Tampa, I think we had very solid game together. And uh, he's older, he can help me a lot with all the stuff, and I can ask any question about anything. And he always have an answer for that. And uh, I think that's a big part of our game too. And what have you liked about maybe? Obviously, you haven't played a ton of games yet here, but the progression of you know being thrown in, playing a lot of minutes. What have you seen from your game in that level? Uh, I honestly, I just try to like uh, shift by shift, do my work, and uh, earn that ne next shift again. And uh, I try to not think too much and just play all game. We talked earlier in the week when you got that first practice in, but to be able to you know come back in the lineup tonight, what what does that mean to you right now with all the hard work you put in? Yeah, it means a lot. I'm excited and uh, can't wait to for the puck drop and. Uh, just able to be back on the ice and play the game, it's, it's great. How important was it that you guys had those two two days of practice beforehand, just to sort of get that rhythm? I know we talked about practice not quite the same as that game rhythm. Yeah, it's nice uh, after the break, a couple practices in, and uh, we have another day off tomorrow. So uh, we have plenty of energy for tonight, and hopefully we show up and uh, win the game. And, and what do you sort of feel about coming back and the, the work that you've done um, What's that sort of excitement level for you? Well, it's it's big excitement. It's just uh, I have to uh, keep myself calm a little bit and then get over, over, over excited and uh, just keep the things simple and play play my game. I'll be fine. Yeah, you know, the challenge in your first year with the team being hurt like this. How hard is it to like? feel part of the team? What were you doing to try and still feel like you were part of the team when you were just kind of becoming part of the team and you had all these early early injuries? Yeah, it's it's tough. When you when you hurt, it's, uh, it's mentally for sure tough. And uh, it's kind of uh, you're outside of the group a little bit, I'm not going to lie. But uh, I try to be here as, as much as long as as much as I can with the guys and talk with them when I can. And uh, when they on the road, I was just, just uh, with the other guys injured here. So... Yeah, it's it's not a, it's not optimal, but uh, I always try to to be positive and, and stay positive and talk to guys, and even if I'm hurt or not. Yeah, you've been in a lot of playoff races before, so seeing where this team is at with what 36 games or whatever uh, left, what does this group need to do to to get up in the rankings and get a playoff spot? I think we need to clear up a little bit the D zone, and uh, we always can score a goal. I think so we have. Plenty of skills uh, up front, and uh, we just need to be more defensively, better defensively, and uh, don't get score on. And uh, I think if we clear that, then we'll be we'll be fine. And just win a couple couple games in a row, it helps us a little bit get get confidence up, and it's stuff like that, little details, and just focus on. Uh, on a D zone and uh, ozone will come from the good D zone. I think. Um, Lindy, to be able to have Thomas back and Nozick back tonight, what does that do for you guys right down the middle there? You know, just a, a veteran guy that uh, you know, familiar with how you play, and uh, he's got years of experience. Uh, you know, playing against good lines and good teams, so he, he's going to add us that veteran uh, leadership. To have some Terry come back and uh, be paired up there with um, Miller. What has he shown you guys in those first few games that he's played that allows you to keep playing him right now? I, I think he's skated well, defended well. Uh, I mean, if you look at uh, the first thing you have to accomplish is you got to be able to play well on your own end, and I think he's done that. Um, he's been able to handle his speed coming into the zone, um, you know, getting back uh, quick for pucks. So, um, you know, lefty-righty, it uh, keeps us 
where we want to be, where it's easier to move pucks and shoot pucks from the point. What will it like? What will it be like to see Miles Wood on the other side? And so, you know, especially for some of those guys who have been with him for a while. Um, and how do you sort of guard against a player like Miles that you've you've well, known quite well? You know, I think we understand he's going to be pretty excited um, playing in the game, and you know, a long time Devil, and you know, we understand he's going to be Everybody that comes back to their previous team wants to have a good night, and we got to make sure that uh, again, uh, he's got great speed. You can't let him get a step on you. You spoke with the team at the end of uh, the skate. There, what, what, what message are you imparting? Uh, you know, I usually talk uh, after our video meeting in the morning. I decided to go back to the old-fashioned on ice. Uh, so we just talked about how we need to play coming out of the break. Uh, what's going to be important playing against Colorado? And, uh, we have to play fast. Uh, I talked a little bit about the third period in Tampa where we were on our toes. We created turnovers. Uh, and really, it was a five-man effort to get back in the game. And uh, Playing defense sometimes is the easiest part is if you can keep it in the offensive zone. And, uh, for the most part, that's uh, what we were doing. Uh, and then part two was you know, stay away from the big mistakes. Lindsey Jack was out there in a regular contact jersey. What's his status for tonight? Just keeps getting closer. Um, you know, today another step closer and uh, get a good workout in. And, you know, today, uh, tomorrow is a day off for the team. So we'll evaluate where he's at and uh, we'll we'll see for the Calgary game. How about Nolan Foot? He was on the practice rink. What's uh, his status there? Uh, just, uh, you know, just getting back into skating. So uh, he's progressing. In the all things considered, are you – Happy with where the team is right now, afloat, still in, still in the race as maybe players start to get a little more healthy and trickle into the lineup? Yeah, you know what? Uh, as a coach, you're never happy, I don't think. You, you don't ever find yourself. I mean, uh, we've had to make a lot of adjustments to our game. Um, you know, there's been a lot of moving pieces. Uh, probably disappointed that we've had you know, points within our grip in different games and even you know, fighting our way back into that Tampa game and you know, making the big mistake we did to give them that fourth goal. Um, you know, that kind of mars any accomplishment you've had in the period. So, uh, you know, we're looking at trying to play a 60-minute game that will give us a chance to beat a really good team with, you know, knowing that, you know, our, our young D are going to be under a lot of stress tonight. You can't rush the process when they're healthy, they'll play. But, you know, is there a danger of a mindset setting, oh, wait till we're at full strength got 30 something games left you can't wait no 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 it's just nobody's waiting you've got to you've got to take the opportunity as a player when somebody else is out to use that as your opportunity to help the team win hockey games and that's as a coach you deal with the players you have you don't talk about the players you don't have Lindy, I know it's a couple days old now and, and you know kind of off topic but um, your thoughts on the return of NHL players in the Olympics uh, you know, I think it's great that uh, every country, you know, gets to represent themselves. It was a great experience for me, and I think uh, every player would wel welcome that opportunity to have an opportunity to participate. Uh, so I think it's a great thing that uh, the announcement that the players are back and the teams are back in.